Should I say what's up YouTube or hi YouTube family? Okay, no. Today. Okay, well today we're gonna to be making a diaper cake. These are the things that you're gonna to need to make a diaper cake. Um, of course, you're gonna need some diapers. First of all, um, I do not use newborn diapers because they're tiny and if you use newborn diapers, you're gonna to have to use more of them. So normally I use a size two diapers. You see right here, there's two on these. And right now we have about 40 some odd diapers. You're gonna need some rubber bands, different sizes. People normally sometimes use pins in them. I do not use stick pins because I didn't figure like, why would you wanna poke a hole in a diaper? Like if they pee, it might come out. I don't think that would be useful. I'm trying to always make sure wherever it is, I can use it. You need it. Different size rubber bands because for the different tiers. So I have different sizes and this big large red one. Most of these items you can find at the Dollar Tree or the Dollar Store, 99 cent store. And um, like that, so I have these little tiny black ones you can roll the diapers up with instead of putting a pin in them. Your base, you're gonna need a pizza pan. You can get this also at the Dollar Tree or the 99 cent store. Um, the stuff I bought today are all got at the Dollar Tree. Shredded paper, whatever color, you know, whatever theme that you're doing, you can find shredded paper to match the theme. Got some pacifiers. I try to get everything around the same color scheme, this is what the colors we're gonna do today. I think this is a washcloth. This will be on the top. It's a baby bottle, see if it's matching. And this is gonna be on the top. I got these wipes. You can get any kind of wipes. This is what they have at the store, but you're gonna put this in the middle of your pizza pan. You could use a, um, the empty paper towel roll, but it's smaller, and so you still have to use more diapers. So this way, you don't have to, have to use that many, as many as you would if you had a, something that was a little smaller, which is gonna be in the center, and we'll build our cake around that. You're gonna need ribbon. <clears throat> I normally buy at least two to contrast different color ribbon. These are, I think, are like a two inch thick. Yeah, they're two inches thick. Um, I got them contrasted colors, you know, whatever, like I said, whatever the theme that you have, you can go to Michael's or Joanne's and, um, or Dollar Tree and find ribbon, and you need a two inch ribbon, and then you're gonna need a one inch to the contrast the colors. Anything matching or whatever theme you're trying to go for, you can find ribbon. I've done diaper cakes from anywhere, Mini Mouse, Mickey Mouse, Under the Sea, One Fish, Two Fish, Red Fish, Blue Fish. So these also will be decorative parts that will be on the outside of your diaper cake. I just start picking up stuff. We'll see how we use it. I'm gonna do like a unicorn thing. So, like I said, I have no particular plan in mind right now. I'm oh, sorry, this is okay now. And um, we'll see what happens. And I bought these little stickers. That's basically everything that you're gonna need. You'll need some double-sided tape um, to stick the things like this on the outside of the diaper cake or anything that you wanna stick in there. <laughs> oh, it's funny. Oh, I need scissors to cut the ribbon, of course. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is roll up diapers. This will probably be the most time-consuming thing that you'll do is roll the diapers up. But once you get the hang of it, you can do it really quickly. It only took me about maybe 10, 15 minutes to roll 49 diapers over here. I left a couple of them out so I can show you how I roll my diapers. So I don't roll from the inside like this because it leaves these little flaps up. And sometimes if a diaper has a decoration right here, you won't know. Like sometimes it won't match whatever theme that you're going for. So I learned that don't roll them flat like that. And then like I said, sometimes it makes these little flaps stick out. So now I roll the opposite way. So I roll this part in first. I just lay the diaper flat, decoration down. And take them in and just roll it like that. See the end, sorry, right, the uh, bottom part will be inside like this. You take one of your little rubber bands. You don't even have to tie it twice or anything. Just pop it on. There's a yellow line right here, which is the line for you know. I guess you could tell when they use the bathroom or not. I put the rubber band right over the yellow line. That way you know it's in the center, and that's our. Diaper. So I'll do the last couple ones. See? 
Decoration down. Turn it in. And that's it. So then we'll take our wipes and that will start building our tears. So whatever your hand can hold and then you'll take one of the rubber bands, stretch it over just to hold it up. That's it. So then we'll just stick some in here because that's easier than just trying to hold them all at one time and get them all around. So I'll show you, just, just pull it a little bit and stick it in. Yeah. <laughs> and then stick it in. And you have one for that one. So there you go, that's your base right there. So we have nine as your base. So then you do your next one, you go on the outside. So because of the curves, you can actually kind of put that in the groove that's right there. And you do them accordingly like that. So we'll do our, the same thing. So we're not trying to hold them at the same time. You get your rubber band, hold it, and just stretch it around. Little rubber bands amazingly will stretch all the way around, even though it doesn't look like it might help, but it will. So we have those two, so now we'll do the same thing. We'll just stick them inside. I'm gonna make sure that rubber band is over the black rubber band so that you can kind of see where your midline is. How large or small you want to make your diaper cake you could stop here and do your ribbon and then put like another layer up here and just do a two layer or if you can you know it depends if you want to do three layers or two layers um let's just say for 10 purposes we're going to do a two layer so we can you know start decorating so like i said we're going to do the same thing that we did we'll put our three up here and you see it's still on Now we'll do our ribbons. I have to say I've never used this ribbon before from the Dollar Tree. And it's kind of not looking like a jute for a laptop. Do what it do. Okay. So we don't need this yet. You know, take your ribbon, just, and the reason why you want it two inches is because you want to cover the rubber bands. So we're going to take it and just wrap it around, measure how far you're going to go around. And you want it to overlap at least maybe like an inch or so, so that it won't pop off. So we'll cut it right there. And this will be our bottom ribbon. ribbon was already measured, we went ahead and cut the one inch ribbon. I wish it wasn't so sheer. Normally I don't use ribbon that is so sheer, but we're gonna make it work today. Now 
Now at this point you can use either some double sided tape if you have um, a satin ribbon. You can use a double sided tape and it'll pull stick. Or you can use a glue gun because we're not going to glue them directly to the diaper. Because like I said, I want to make sure the diapers can be used. So I'm not going to put glue on the diapers because I wouldn't want glue on my baby bottom. So we're going to put our bottom row on first. And you want to cover, like I said, right over that rubber band. And like I said, we're not going to glue onto the diapers because I don't do that. And you gotta make sure that it's tight so that it won't come loose down. So I've never used this before, it's a burlap. I think it's one in the look on the dresser. And I'm um, see it's fraying. We're gonna burn that. So I won't do that. Don't play with me. <laughs> we'll fight you hard. So we're gonna burn this. a little too much huh? <laughs> okay it will burn the other end just for you know just wiggles okay so now I won't fray and we'll do the same thing to the pink we don't want that to fray okay Use this side. There we go. Like that. And then we'll just use a dab of glue. And make sure it's you know, secure all the way around. Okay, we're good. So we're going to put a dab of glue in the glue gun. This will be the back of our cake, and then the front will not look like that. So that will be the front. So I'm going to put a little bit more on the edge just to seal it down. Like that. So they won't stick up. Yay, cool. Then we'll do our pink. Same thing. We're going to put it right over the rubber bands so that you can't see. So if this was like satin, it would definitely cover. So you want to try to make sure that the backs of them line up with the other back. See this one is right here, so you want to kind of make sure when you put the ribbon that it's lining up as well. So that we know what the front is and what the back is. That's what you right there. So we're going to put our ribbon around the back and we'll do the same thing that we did. Make sure that it's overlapping right there. Back. 
and you can press your finger up against it for a few minutes. Well, not a few minutes, but a couple seconds, just to hold it down and make sure it doesn't move. Our second ribbon. the decorating part come in also like you could do different things um, I've gotten stickers and um, put the baby's name on it on the back of dowels or like um, the skewers that you like, do kebabs with and I just stick them in the center of the thing where I spelled out the baby's name you could baby the word baby and this is you know the possibilities are endless I'm gonna put a dab of glue in the center a little bit so we can stick it on the um so this can stick and it won't move our cake so i'm gonna kind of get it centered and then there we have it so then we can start sticking some of this stuff onto the um our double cake so let's see okay, we have Oh, the bottle. Normally, if I do a three tier, I put a bottle for the top, which will kind of go like that. So we can glue this on because it'll peel off, it just won't hurt it. We can glue that up there. Sometimes I try to use a four ounce bottle so it doesn't see how tall it is. It's like kind of like too tall. But I'll um, stick a bottle, a four ounce bottle, which will come to about right there. And um, in the middle of there. But we'll do that later. So I bought these stickers from there. Let's see if we can use those. You could just put it really anywhere. I have a unicorn one that will stick somewhere. I try to, you know, rotate, not have everything in the front so that you can at it nicely from all angles. So it looks cute from everywhere. So you can see I put the four stickers just randomly on the cake. Next we have this washcloth. Sometimes you can even, because of the way that it's rolled, you can even substitute one of the diapers for something like this. Probably should have done that before I put the ribbon on there, but just for future references, then you can if you wanted to. You can stick this somewhere. We'll see what happens with that, because I probably should have done that earlier. Now this is a cute little pack that they got at the Dollar Tree. Um, at Target or some other you know, Walmart or whatever they'll have, the name brand one, like the Johnson's, and you can stick that on there. But, you know, like I said, I got these from the Dollar Tree, so we're going to use what we have. So, let's say we can put this right here. And see, the colors match, which is cool, so we can put this one here. So I'll put a little dab of glue on the back of, and we'll just stick it up against, well this one was just going to sit on the diaper, so, and just hold it for a couple seconds, or you can use double sided tape, you just put it on the back of there, the length of the bottle, and it should stick. We'll do, we'll do the same thing for these. Of course, the fancier you get, you know, the more stuff you have, it looks a lot nicer. And there, see? We got these 
cute little items on it. Not harming the diapers. They can still be used without, you know, any chemicals that being put on them. Let's see what we can put this. Because we want our cat to be cute for the angles, so we can even just stick this right here. Which will cover up the one on the back of these seams right here because it's a little bit right there, so I'll just on the fist, not on the um, actual towel itself. Like I said, we want to be able to use this on baby. And we can't use it on baby if it has glue on it. So we're going to just stick that there. A couple seconds. Stick it. Yeah. I think it is. Now these are going to take out of the package because Mom can actually boil these and they'll be usable again. You know, I'm not gonna put glue on them. Um, we can still, you know, use this. So, well, let's see what we do. Instead of doing that, just sticking it in there in between because it could fall out. I'll put the ribbon around it, the ribbon that we're using. We'll tie it. Seems to tie it in a knot. Like a little pinky and then put it around the diaper and let it hang down. Cute. And then we'll do the same thing on this side. Okay, so then I bought these. It's birthday stuff, but it had the cover around on it, so. They have the little cute uniforms, so I'm actually just going to cut these off so we can use these in some type of... Right. I don't know these were really cute. I'm going to put it right here because it's kind of blank right here, so I'm going to put that back there. I'm going to put it down for glue so it will go onto the ribbon and not onto the diaper. If you are a child, do not use a glue gun without a parent or guardian or some adult being around because you can't burn yourself. Just a, Service okay, so cute, right? So then we'll put so it's mommy hands. Okay, so I'm gonna try to figure out where to put this on here because it gets double sided. Okay, so this might be too tall. I do have a smaller bottle. This one actually says five ounces. I also got this at the Dollar Tree. And it is. Elmo, which is not very unicornish, but if we cover Elmo with the unicorn, oh, <laughs> that makes it unicornish. Okay. So we'll just press this on. So we put that there. Move. Even though this is going to be the front. So we'll put that like that. There also was another thing I forgot to mention um, at the beginning of the video is, hopefully you're still with me right at this point, but there was another thing um, that I needed a gift bag, which you also can find the dollar store if I come. You know, the Easter bag, Easter basket bags, that's what we're going to put on top of this just to keep it sanitary so dust and stuff doesn't get into the, um, to the diapers and whatnot. Like I said, you can pull it off, it's just glue. I'm gonna put some glue on the bottom to stick it on here so that it doesn't move when it's being transported. So just a little around the rim of the diaper, you know, the bottle. So we'll just hold that down a couple seconds. And I have a secret that I do, and I'll tell you at the end, so thank you for you know staying watching and keep watching through the whole video. So at the end of it, I'm gonna tell you a little secret that I do to the all my diaper cakes or diaper motorcycles and everything that I make for baby showers. It's just a little special treat that I do. So this is pretty much it for everything that we're gonna put on the cake itself. Okay, so we just have to do this because we're gonna give it some more color. You're not gonna use all of this because there's a lot in here, it's just compacted. It, like once you start especially separating it, it becomes quite a bit. So we're gonna put some around here at our base, around here. 
and then around here, we can even stick a little bit in there. So as you can see, all the way around kind of made it even more colorful. Then this is the bag that you're gonna use. Um, you see, it's like a basket bag. Most people use it for Easter baskets or whatever, but we're gonna put our tape inside of it so to keep it sanitary. And it also comes with a bow. Sometimes I use this bow, sometimes I don't. Um, for today's purpose, we're gonna use it. So this is your bag. You can open it. So you're gonna pick up your cake, throw it, you know, sweet, and set it inside. Everything's kind of glued down so nothing should really move. Okay, so you want to make sure that when you close it up, that um, you're not closing the sides in the front because we're going to kind of take it together at the top here. Now, special treat. Because it is baby shower related and baby related, I have a little trick that I do um, with my diaper cakes. And normally the mother of people, whoever I give the gift to, can't tell that it's there unless I, you know, don't have this bag on it because sometimes I have given them without the bag on it, but, um, or diaper motorcycles. But I use this. This is Johnson's Baby Cologne. It smells just like Johnson's baby powder or lotion in liquid form. You can spray it on yourself, clothes, sheets, anything, any kind of fabric or anything. But it smells really good. It smells just like a baby. So if you see if this is a pop top and you can go like this, you know, with it. But I just pour some in a little shady bread, a spray bottle, and I spray it just a little bit. And then when they open it, it's not gonna hurt the baby because it's you know baby cologne already. Try to get as much air out of it as possible. And then bring it up to the top, right over the bottom. I take rubber bands, I love these rubber bands. And put it on top, at the ponytail. Now sometimes if it's a little puffy like this, I'll fold these over, put it back, and just put a little piece of tape on it and hold them down. Like that. Just fold it back and put tape. Fold it back and put a piece of tape. Then you take your pull bow until you find the strings and slide down. And then you're just going to tie it to the front of your gift. And the string covers the rubber band in the back. And that is our diaper cake. I hate that these are around here, it's rather crazy. But we're going to pretend we cut these off. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, coming up, I am going to do a diaper motorcycle. And there's another gift that I make that's also, it could be for either a housewarming, baby shower, it could be for dogs, it could be, you know, anything that you want it to be, which is a gift crate. Um, and I'll show you how to do those in another video. Thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. And also comment down below if you want to see me try anything else, or if you have any questions and um, suggestions. All right. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.